hey what's going on everyone welcome back again to my channel in this video i will be sharing with you the customized theme that i made on car launcher pro yes you heard that right before i was doing custom theme for car web guru launcher pro this time i'd like to share these themes to car launcher pro users so i have three themes here for you guys to download this second theme right here has live map on top which most of you guys requested and the third one right here is the window tiles theme which i also did at car web guru launcher pro so if you guys want to download all this just stay tuned and i'll show you how So the first team we got here is the car dashboard team and maybe some of you guys are familiar with this already because i also made this one on car web guru launcher pro but of course there's a slight difference because this one is a different launcher so this one here has a widget compass and when you flip the widget it will change to analog speedometer and when you flip it again it will show you a map and your current location we also have a digital speedometer right here, custom car image, and later on, I'm gonna show you how to put your own custom car. Now this theme will also show you the artist and the title of the song that is being played, and the music album art at the same time. But when you flip on the widget, it will change to turn by turn navigation, which will show your direction when you made an active route. You can also add shortcut apps at the bottom or on top of the screen. To add more, just slide the apps to the left and tap the plus button. Now select the app you want to add on the home screen. Okay, so let's say I want to uh, choose this one. Now it's already added, which is right here. You can also add more apps along the apps at the bottom. Again, just slide the apps to the left and tap the plus button. Now select any apps that you want. Let's say Netflix. Now it's already added right there. I also added shortcut keys on the left side of the screen and a music button on the right side. This shortcut will open your app drawer. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this team. Now let's go forward to the next team. Okay, so this team has a live map and it will show your current location. On the side is your digital speedometer and a compass widget around it. On the other side is the music album art and the artist and the title of the song just below the car image. You also have shortcut keys at the bottom. You can also add more apps the same as the first team. Okay, so let's jump on the third team. I call this one as my window tiles team. The first tile will show you the clock, the weather, and the current date. The second tile has a digital speedometer and your total travel time. The third tile will show you the map, your current location, and a turn-by-turn -turn navigation. And the last tile will be your music player. Okay, so here's how the turn-by-turn -turn navigation works. Open your Google Maps. Now make an active route. Okay, so let's say we want to go to, to this place. Now let's just wait for the direction to load. Okay, so let's go ahead and tap the start button. Head northwest. Bomb, I'm okay, let's go back to the home screen. Okay, so as you can see here, the turn-by-turn -turn navigation is now working. Okay, so let's check on the other team. Okay, so as you can see, it's working as well. Now, I'm going to show you how to change or how to put a car on this team. Go to car launcher settings. Then look for interface. So let's tap on this. Now select car logo. So instead of putting a car logo on the home screen, let's just uh, change that to your car image. Now tap select logo. Now look for the card that you have downloaded and edited. 
So I have my car image ready here, which is also I'm using on Car Web Guru Launcher. Now I'm just gonna tap OK and go back to the previous menu and then tap save. So that's how you save or uh, change the car logo to your preferred car image. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to download this theme. Go to your internet browser. Now copy the link on my description and paste it to the address bar. Tap the go button when you're done. And let's wait for the download date to open. So we have six files that need to be downloaded. Okay, so let's download all of these. Okay, so we've just downloaded the six files. Now let's go back to the home screen and open the app drawer. Now tap and open the file manager and let's see if all the files are downloaded. And let's open the download folder. And yes, it's all right here. Now I want you to go back to the app drawer and reopen the file manager again. I just want to make sure you do it right. Okay, so under your internal storage, create a folder called Car Launcher Backup. Okay, so make sure you type it correctly. If you accidentally type it wrong, it's not gonna work. Okay, so type in here car underscore launcher underscore backup. Okay here, so make sure you type it correctly. Once you're done, tap OK. Now go to the folder Car Launcher Backup. So this one here. Open it. Now I want you to add or create a new folder again. Now type Team 2. Okay, so make sure you type it correctly. Once you're done, tap OK. Now open the team 2 folder. Now I want you to create another sub folder. Now this time type horizontal. So once you're done, open the horizontal folder. Now create another sub folder. So this would be the last folder. Type CL custom team again make sure you type it correctly okay once you're done tap ok now let's go back to the download folder Okay, so let's cut or move the three files with that db extension. Okay, so let's move this element team.db, container.db, and this fragment.db. Now let's move these three files. Now let's tap the cut button. Now let's go to car launcher backup folder. Now open team2 folder, open this folder as well and this one. Now tap the paste button to move all the files here. Now we just uh, move the three files. Now let's go back to the home screen. Open car launcher settings. Tap home screen team. Now select team2 which is this one. Okay, tap on it and select to accept. Now go to car launcher settings. Tap edit team. Tap the save or diskette button. And tap recover. 
Now tap recover again. Now tap CL custom team. So there you go guys. So here are the teams that we have downloaded. So here's the second one. And this one is the third team. Now let's tap OK. Okay guys, so just in case uh, the background image won't show up and sometimes it happens, all you have to do is reload the background. To do this, uh, tap the car launcher settings and tap edit team. Select background. Tap this one to open all your photos. Go to download folder, then select the background accordingly. Once you're done, just tap OK. Now do the same thing on the other team. So just go to the settings and tap edit team. Select background. Now select the background image for this team. Now once the background is already loaded, just tap the OK button. So there you go guys. You now have three teams loaded onto your Car Launcher Pro. If you guys like them all, please don't forget to share and like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again on my next video.